Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, does an outstanding show every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter called The Opening Call. Now, Basil's going to be doing a workshop for all his subscribers coming this Tuesday from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Bottom line, you can be a subscriber. When you're a subscriber to Basil's newsletter, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Every Saturday, Basil does an overview. You're going to get an overview, number one, about an hour overview of what's happening inside the marketplace. Number two, you're going to get a great newsletter. Number three, which is the most important, is that you're going to get a great workshop on Tuesday from 4 to 5.30. And our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to tell you about this right now. And on the target all is, folks, okay, the target all is going to be extended to uh, the end of this month. So the bottom line is that you can still get target all is Come to the workshop, all of the above. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. So tell us about this webinar. Subscribe a webinar, Basil. So there are a number of things that I like to look for when I'm doing my webinars. First of all, I like the timing aspect. So I don't do them all the time. I just do them when I think there's some kind of a market turn coming. And that it would be important to start positioning oneself and pre preparation for that and just getting ready to, to uh, decipher What's working, what's not working. In that aspect, what I'm looking for for subscribers is what are we going to step away from? What has already had huge moves to the upside and could digest gains that they don't have to break down, but maybe they're just not in play right at this moment? And what's starting to work? And that's really important. And what stocks? And I like to get prices, uh, stocks with prices from single digits to double digits to triple. It doesn't matter what it is. Because I like, you know, subscribers have a variety of needs and a variety of amounts of money they can put to work. So I like to cater to, to uh, you know, different kinds of uh, portfolios. So most importantly, uh, we're looking at, for instance, here's the Dow. Dow's made some kind of a short-term top, but all the technicals are very positive, and it seems to me that the Dow... The mix of the Dow, it's just no line on why they call it industrials. They're not industrials, but it's a real nice mix of this particular phase right now of the U.S. economy. So I like, I like the Dow. We've been long for a long time, but we want to add to that position. So we're waiting for this pullback. Now, what we're also looking at is the IWM, where it's the Russell 2000, and that the small caps um, have just, when I say out of favor, they have just been out of favor for a long time. So they had a very real we, we long, we had, it had a very nice spike, broke out of this resistance level. And I'll be talking about these particular techniques during the webinar. I'm actually sorry, I, I use, you do the overview on the weekend, but I, I've lately for a while now, I've tried to do it on a Friday just after the market closes. So everything's fresh and then people have the whole weekend to look at it. And what's important about the overview that I'm going to do this afternoon after the close is that it's really in preparation for the webinar. So if anyone's interested, just the sooner you, you sign up and the sooner you're, you're participating, because I'm not waiting for Tuesday evening and then Wednesday to start for new positions. If it happens Monday, it's Monday. I mean, even today, we, we, you know, we've got positions, and that's the way you have to look at it. Now, I use all different techniques, but I've used on October the 31st of last year, I said to subscribers, I'm using Microsoft. It's in the Dow. We've got a buy signal. It's in the Dow. It, it's in the S&P, it's in the QQQ, that's the NDX 100. It's in the XLK, which is the S&P Select Spider Fund. And it's in the AIQ, in the AI, the uh, Artificial Intelligence. So I'm using this as a benchmark. And we've been long since 338. We've had other good trading positions. And we've just lately, we were looking at this particular pattern. I've been speaking to you this, about this pattern for about a month now. Oh, I, said, I know it well. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke about this pattern that I discovered years ago when I used to hand chart with engineering paper and pencil and a ruler. And I call it the Chap Wave Stalk Leg Formation. And it basically, look, you can see this little pattern right here. Doesn't it look, it's got the long leg and it's got an oval body, it's got the neck and it's got the beak. Well, here's the real chart, the weekly chart of the um, of Microsoft. Look at this huge move to the upside. And then this is emphatically an oval pattern. It's not a rectangle, it's not a circle, it is an oval. And that was what we needed. And I had said to you that I'm waiting for it to break out and that forms the neck. You can see the little drawing right here that says yes. neck. And then when that makes a top, I'm anticipating that it's going to pull back. And where it pulls back to should be right at 433.60 was the high of the 23rd of May to 431. That's the area. 
Well, look what it did. It went straight up. It made the neck. Here's the beak. And what did it hit today? It went down to round number 432. So I'd love to look at round numbers. It says to me, we're getting much closer to some kind of a, a, at least a trading low coming up. So I'm watching that very closely. So it'll be adding to the Microsoft position. I use round numbers. Just fascinating. Look at this. In the Dow, yesterday it made an all-time high. It wasn't just an all-time high. It made a round number, 41,376.00. I mean, when have you seen that before? It is just incredible how these round numbers. Look at the round number, 38,000 at the low back in, um, I think that was the 1st of June. Uh, no, the 30th, 30th of May. It was 38,000 and 0.5. 95 or something. So almost a round number. So I love these round numbers. And this just says to me, we've got to be careful. The moment we break 41,376.00 on the Dow, that opens the upside. So we're waiting to see where it'll, where it'll land. Now, talking about this, but just this one particular pattern, I have so many patterns we look at. I just spoke to you about this. Basil, can I ask leg. you, let me ask you something about the stark leg, though. Uh, yes. The stark leg seems to come pretty close to highs. I mean, I've been... Shooting it with a shotgun for the last 20 I, years I'm now. Pleased you, I'm, <laughs> I'm pleased you mentioned that because you're absolutely either recovery highs or highs. Yes, at least uh, multi-month highs. In other words, it is at a some kind of a high. Please, you mentioned that. Why? Because we've been long core, uh, core mining, which used to be called the lean, which is a silver stock, and we've been long. And I said to subscribe you see, here's the body. It's the same pattern, stalk leg formation. Yes. When this breaks out, it should go all the way to a, to a higher high, probably to a peak D, and then it comes back, and the target that we would look for on the pullback would be 604, because 605 was the high that was made. Today's low was uh, 602, and it rebounded strongly. It's actually trading now at 6.41. So that's the beak. So there it is. There's the oval body. There's the neck. There's the beak. Here's the neck. And I typed in the other day the beak. And there it is. So these patterns repeat over and over. This, this particular one doesn't happen very often, but it's a fantastic thing. And the reason why I wanted to show it to you is that if Microsoft is starting to at least give a hint that it's trying to form some kind of a low, now I'm starting to look for lows. And, I, and the selectivity in this particular move says that in the spectrum of if the lower if the mid cap stocks start to move you have a vast array of stocks for subscribers that are in the single digits to low double to the teens and that's really exciting because the gains can be really strong so i'm yes. hoping that this works out and it's very timely because i i think i'm i'm watching next week closely because the down the uh, uh russell 2000 are still holding pretty well above uh, yeah, actually, if I had to show you this, let me let me show you this just briefly. Even the S and P, which is pulled back very sharply, um, look, all the technicals are still quite strong, and the SMHs, which we are short, is showing tremendous weakness. So I'm going to use all these techniques, discuss it with uh, yeah, in the webinar, the video today, and the webinar Tuesday. Look and folks, it's very easy to come into this webinar. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Hit that button, you are off to the races. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show on Monday. Thank you, Tom. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Stay right there, folks.